Okay, this is Eric again. Do not try this at home. Uh, I'm a trained fire extinguisher user, written off by the, the fire fire department here in El Segundo, <laughs> and I know how to use this thing, and we're professionals, and we're gonna try to smash this back with the dink, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. Okay, you ready, Mike? and let's close this up in case it catches on fire. It's <laughs> <laughs> warm. Okay, let's plug it into a bike and see if it still goes. We got a bike? All right, here we go. I'm gonna plug in the battery after the tank test and see if it still works. This is the same battery, right? Show us the... It's uh... the same battery. It took a little damage on the edges, but battery seems fine. And here you go. We powered up the bike just fine. Uh, the Look at that. The BMS would tell us if there's a problem and if there was a single cell that was loose. Wow. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, right off with the, uh, it's kind of sketchy with the front twist throttle, but here we go. Alright, battery's good as new. Ready to go to the next customer. <laughs> it passed the tank test. It's amazing actually. And, and it's fully encased in an, uh, a really strong epoxy. Great. Well, let's do a few more torture tests with this pack then. Okay. See how much abuse it takes. Uh, you ready for one? You ready? Watch this. Hup. Well, there's test number two. Impromptu. All right. Do not do stuff like this at home, but if you're going to, it's safer to do it with an uncharged battery. Because not not a 51 volt battery like this one. Not as fire volatile. <laughs> so, bike still can, bike still starts, and 58.8 volts. So we obviously didn't lose any cells. Uh, here we are continuing with the acid test of our new fusion battery, and this is basically us breaking stuff. First, me throwing the battery doesn't really count because I don't have much of an arm. Josh here was a high school quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Give it your that biggest. Happened. All right, ready? Give it your biggest pull. Man, that was a good thought. It seems good. pretty good distance. Okay. And you can see that uh, we're breaking the case even more. Oh yeah. It's when you start to see the potting inside, we're going to be able to salvage that Rosenberg connector. But let's see if the battery, if we've lost anything, it's at 50.8 volts. And if something's failed inside the battery, the BMS won't let it start up. Up, oh, battery starts up. That's yeah. a good eye. And same we're at 50.7 volts. Yeah, same voltage. Now, just to show that bike's still rideable. Alright. Kind of dangerous to ride without my shoes high. <laughs> has a hell of an arm. He used to pitch for the Dodgers. Really? Yep. You remember Fernando Valen Valenzuela? Watch it. Oh! Oh my god, that was, that was a good hit. My turn next then, right? Camera guy? Okay, I have to pedal over to the thing now. There you go. Alright. And still works. 50.7. So, we're still good. Alright, let me uh, have a throw. You want to have a throw? You want you? I mean, sure. What makes you an awesome thrower? Is there anything? Did you ever throw a? I was a state shot put champion. Oh shit! Okay, let's see it. Whoa! That was a that good smack. Good. That was a good smack. That did sound solid. Right on, was, right on the side. You're pretty good at breaking stuff. I am pretty good at breaking stuff. I've been told that once before. I there don't. you go. Same? 50 points? Yeah, same thing. Wanna try right again real quick? Just to... Right. Uh, oh. Well, it's held right. up to all this so far. Right. Yeah, wow, that's crazy, huh? Yeah. 